Quick Tips is brought to you by Domain.com. Pro light modifiers can be a bit too pricey for us low, no budget filmmakers, so today we're taking a look at a few great DIY options. Quick Tips! How your film looks goes a long way into keeping your audience watching. Audio is of course even more important to keep them there, but the first thing that's going to get them to stay or click away is how your film looks. One of the main ways to get a great image on a low budget is through lighting modifiers. And since the big boy toys can be a bit too expensive, let's take a look at some DIY versions you can use. First let's talk about bouncing a light. And there's a ton of different ways to do this, some obvious, some not as obvious, and when you're shooting outside during the day, especially as a low to no budget filmmaker, this is going to be your entire lighting kit. One of my favorite and most versatile would be a big white sheet. A simple everyday bed sheet can be used as bounce or diffusion. It's one that I use all the time. A good trick for using a sheet as bounce outside is to get two sticks, roll them up on either side of the sheet and have assistance hold on either side. Now you're ready to use it to diffuse the sunlight or bounce it, whatever you need. Moving on to more diffusion, something that we showed recently is a shower curtain for around seven bucks. I got a really great piece of diffusion. You can use it in all the same ways that you use a sheet, but with a different quality of light. Moving on to DIY bounce sources, two simple and effective tools would be a windshield reflector for a car, usually with a silver side like this. You can use this in the same way that you would use a pro pop-up filter or a $3 poster board from Walmart. It has a really nice soft white side that's perfect for bounce. You can find some with reflective sides as well for some more interesting results. You can even use walls as bounce. When working on a very indie level, you don't always have a ton of lights to bring to light up the room, so often pointing a light at the wall or the ceiling will do a great job in adding overall fill to light your scene. Or just hitting a wall to the side of your character will soften that light as well. Pretty much anything at all, from a sheet of paper to a t-shirt, can be used to bounce light and all of them will give you different effects. For instance, you could just grab a colorful t-shirt and bounce light off of that to act as almost as a gel for your light, changing the quality of light and softness and color. So if you don't have gels, grab a poster board in the color that you want or anything else for that matter. T-shirt, bath towel, anything you can bounce light off of and go light modifying crazy. But that's it, a handful of ways to cheaply modify light. And as always, a big thank you to the people who make this show possible, Domain.com, because no domain extension is going to help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. Domain.com is reliable, affordable, and easy to use. Save 15% off your comms and nets at Domain.com with the coupon code QUICKTIPS, because when you think domain names, think Domain.com. And as always, until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.